Good evening. You may be wondering why it looks like you're watching an Instagram tutorial in which none of my hand movements match anything that I'm saying. That is because I am in my new studio and I still haven't gotten rid of the echo in the room, so instead I decided to film an annoying intro rather than have the echo in my audio that probably nobody hears except for me. If there's an opportunity to go super cheese, I'm going super cheese. Don't worry, this is not forever. Hopefully I'll have the echo in the room fixed by next week. In today's video, we'll be asking ourselves, what if Beetlejuice were originally casted as a female? Would this make a difference in their appearance? I don't know, in my head it does. We'll be creating our own version of one of the classics. All the products I used today we listed somewhere around the video. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. Okay. Anyways, I'm sure you would assume we're going to start off by painting our faces white. I am doing this using white body paints and I'm also painting my ears and my neck. Go ahead and prime your eyes. I'm then using white eyeshadow and applying it all around my surrounding eyeball. This is just going to help the other colors blend in easier as opposed to not applying white eyeshadow around surrounding eyeballs. Speaking of blending, we're also then going to be applying a purple gray shade. I don't know, it's a difficult color to describe. You're looking at it, I'll let you name it. And I'm also applying this around my eyeball, messy, but organized. And then moving on to a deeper purple that I'm gonna be applying in my crease and also underneath my eye. And finally into a brighter purple that I'm applying on my lid. And I'm sure you're asking yourself, what color are we gonna paint our eyebrows today? Black. Now I am using black body paint, but of course you could always use black eyeliner if you wanted to. Speaking of eyeliner, we're then going to line our eyes in a very large fashion. Little bit of Lexorcist. And the reason that I decided to go with a large fashion eyeliner is because me, being spiffy, I wanted to add the white stripes in my liner to match my jackets. And I just used white body paint to add the stripes on the outer edge of the liner. For my waterline, I applied green eyeliner in the center and black eyeliner on the outer edges. I had a lime green eyeliner somewhere. I don't know where it went, so I went with more of like a forest green. And I've been really into drippy looks lately. I don't know what it is. I just like the way that it looks, so I also applied some green drips using lime green body paint underneath my eyes and then just kind of dragged down the black around my eyes as well. For my lips, I used purple body paint to fill them in. Of course, if you have a purple lipstick, you could also use that. You don't have to use body paint. I have also been really into extending my lips lately, especially around Halloween time. I just like the way that it looks. I mean, I like the way it looks all year round, but I really like the way it looks for Halloween looks. I just feel like it gives the character more character. I also enjoy darkening the edges of my lips just to give it more depth instead of just being one flat color. I then decided that I wanted to add a design in the center of my lips, so I took off a little bit of the body paint because I wanted to add lime green body paint. Then I wanted to add the stripes next to that on my lips to match my eyeliner, to match my jacket, and the world just came together in a perfect Beetlejuice stripey type event. I used white body paint and black body paint to apply the stripes, by the way, which I'm sure you probably assumed. Add a white highlight to your lips because it looks nice. And to add all this moss and dead, I'm just using different shades of green body paint and tapping it on my skin. You could go more realistic with this if you wanted to. I think it looks fine. I think it's time for a regular scheduled commercial break. Are you tired of seeing stupid things on the internet? Things that you may or may not know are dangerous, unsafe, or just plain dumb? Stop pouring plaster on your face thinking you'll get a life cast. You'll just get a burn. Don't let the internet feed you dumb things, let the internet feed you smart things. Get all of your knowledge for free! Free knowledge plus bonus entertainment, dumb things the internet makeup artists do, 1-800 link below. You know, it was also at this point that I realized I probably could have painted my whole body white and then I was like, ah. Figuring this out of how to paint this jacket is gonna be a little bit of a doozy, just a, just a small one. I started off by using white body paint to create the shirt that's going underneath my jacket. I also went directly over the green with the white. It made light green, I had to take it off, and then I had to put white back on, which is fine. It was easy, not a big deal. With this, there is a lot of shading. 
this brings me joy. You know why? Because I love to shade things. So much so that my Twitch chat has called me shady. In not a bad way. Just because I like to shade a lot of things. But one of my problems is, is that this was 10.30 at night when I was filming this. I was really into it, okay? And because I was really into it, I was using white, light gray, medium gray, dark gray, black, and then also black body paint to make some of the depth within the shirt. And while this is not an issue whatsoever, it does create minor problems for me trying to figure out instructions to tell you guys exactly what I did other than you just watching what I did. And I'm telling you that I layered the colors on there and then I blended some stuff out. I made some wrinkles, I blended that stuff out. The collar took me a second to even figure out in the first place because I wanted to make it a little more theatrical type looking as opposed to like super realistic. And then before I put the tie on, I added some shading for underneath the tie, that way I wouldn't have to shade over the black which would actually be lighter on the black, which would make it look like a highlight, but then it would look dusty, so I just, I just, I painted the tie on using black body paint. Got my white body paint out, love the white body paint, added some highlights to the tie. But then I went back in with black body paint, which was very difficult, by the way, because I was using the body paint dry, and sometimes it can be kind of sketchy when you do it that way. But I did not have a dark enough black eyeshadow, but I did want these to be darker, so I used black body paint to make things darker. I don't know what I was thinking here, but chances are I was probably thinking to myself, how, how am I gonna figure out how to paint this jacket right now? Because he's got a lot of different stripes going on. I ultimately decided to go with applying the white body paint first, working on the, not the collar, but like the jacket. Flaps? Does that have a name? Anyways, doesn't matter. So then I started using gray eyeshadow to shade that, but I also want to make a wrinkle in that so it kind of folds over. And then I also shaded where it was going to come in contact with the shirt where it's going to curve in and then also shading underneath the collar where the collar would be casting the shadow on the white. This whole process would not be as tricky if I were doing this on somebody else. I had to be cautious with applying the black and the white or else it was going to smear onto each other while I was trying to paint around my arms later on. Nonetheless, I was still enjoying myself at 11 o'clock at night. Any black stripes that I applied, I then applied a white highlight that would follow the lightest section within the white spots after I had shaded the white sections. I then created the black and white stripes going vertically, which would be on his chest jacket piece of the sewing section process. If you are a tailor, you're probably like, oh god. Sewing section progress. I'm gonna put that on my menu of services I offer. And for my arms, I applied my stripes horizontally. Same thing, shading, highlighting. And it was around this point that I realized how in depth I had gotten for this jacket and thought to myself, I don't know how I'm gonna explain all this, didn't care and continued to do it anyways. I finally just added some very thin white highlights to the jacket. I'm then gonna go pop in my contacts, put on my wig, and maybe put on some fake lashes.
Do I what? Do you want to ride a mechanical taco? 